integration. These videos are to help with integration. Let's look at the basic example first. Integrate 3x squared dx. The basic rule is we raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power and we add on the constant of integration c. And now neaten this up, we get x cubed plus c. Example 2, integral of sums. Here we can do each part individually. So we integrate 3x squared dx, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, 2x dx, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, and plus 1 dx, which becomes x, and add on the constant of integration. Then we can neaten this up. Example 3. This is an important example. The log tables tell us that sine x dx goes to minus cos x plus c. What about sine 3x dx? This needs to be learnt off. The answer to this is minus cos 3x divided by 3. And again we add on the constant of integration. It's important to learn this. Example 4. The integral of cos x dx is sin x plus c. So here's the one, again we should learn this off. So this becomes 4 sin 2x and divide by 2. The multiplier of the angle and add on the constant of integration. So we can neaten this up. It becomes 2 sin 2x plus c. Example 5. When we multiply by a constant, we really don't integrate the constant at all, so we can move the constant, in this case 3, outside of the integral. So now we look at integrating x squared minus sine x. Still leave the 3 outside as a multiplier. For x squared, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power. And minus sine x goes to minus cos x. Minus minus is plus. And again, add on the constant of integration. Multiplying into 3, this neatens up to be x cubed plus 3 cos x plus c. Example 6. We learn in the log tables that the integral of e to the ax dx is e to the ax divided by a plus c. So the integral of 6e to the 3x becomes 6e to the 3x divided by 3. So this neatens up. I always add on the constant of integration. Example 7. We see in the log tables that the integral of 1 over x dx is the natural log of x plus c. In this case here, we can take the multiplier 2 outside of the integral. So we're integrating 1 over x dx. And this is the log of x plus c. Example 8. This is an interesting one that often comes up in the leaving cert. If we notice that we have the, the top of the fraction is the integral of the bottom, the answer is the natural log of the bottom plus c. This is an important one to notice. Example 9. This is the definite integrals. So we're integrating between the limits 3 and 1. So we integrate 2x dx in the normal way. The integral is raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. And we're going to evaluate this, which is x squared, between 3 and 1. So this means sub in the value 3 and take away the 
when you sub in the answer 1. So it's the, the value with 3 minus the value with 1. So the answer in this case is 8. Here in this example, and this is one that is very common on the leaving cert, uh, sine squared 2 theta d theta. Uh, it's useful to know, that, and maybe learn it off, that sine squared nx dx is the same, now I haven't integrated yet, as a half, 1 minus cos 4, or in this case we're, it's 2nx, so we double that angle. And now we're integrating the integral of 1d theta is theta minus cos 4 theta is minus sine 4 theta over 4. And again, we add on the constant of integration. So we can neaten this up by dividing in to 2. This is a very important example. It's very common on the leaving cert. Example 11 is a very similar type example uh, with a cos squared. Again, we can take the 2 on the outside and using the, the rewrite value we have on top, we can rewrite our integral as a half by 2, the integral of 1 plus cos 8x dx. And now we integrate the two parts of this. Well, half 2 is 1, so we needn't worry about that. Integral of 1 dx is x, and the integral of cos 8x is sine 8x divided by 8. And again, add on the constant integration. It is very important, again, to learn this example off by heart, as it is a very common one to come up in the leave insert. It's actually mentioned in the syllabus. Substitution method. We have looked, it looks like something complicated. Uh, We'll let u be the highest power of x that we see here. That would be x cubed. We differentiate u, we get du dx is equal to 3x squared. And we know we're on the right track because we see 3x squared is part of the initial expression. So du then would be 3x squared dx multiplying across by dx. And we also change the limits. Our original limits are 2 and 0, but since u is x cubed, well, 2 cubed is 8, so we will change the limit to, to 8. And the second limit of 0, well, 0 cubed is 0, so our new limits are 8 and 0. So we rewrite the initial expression by making all the changes. So 2, 0 goes to 8, 0. E, x cubed goes to E, u. And 3, x squared, d, x becomes d, u. And now it looks much more manageable. So in this case, we integrate E to the u. And E to the u is just E to the u. Between the limits 8 and 0. So we sub in 8. That's e8 minus e0. And anything to the power of 0 is 1. So it's e8 minus 1 is the neatest way of writing this. And these 12 examples are important. Maybe look at this video again.